Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at regression plots with the Prestige data set. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we actually went and talked about doing a basic OLS model using uh, Duncan's data set here. Uh, we can see that we looked at Prestige and the impact of income and education on Prestige. Uh, we also went on and did an influence plot uh, to, to be able to measure influence. Now the next thing that we're going to look at is a partial regression plot. Okay, again, this is we're going to do this because we are looking at multivariate regressions, and we can't just look at bivariate plots whenever we're discerning these types of relationships. So uh, what we'll do here is actually run through um, a partial regression plots. Uh, these are also known as added variable plots. Now, um, in partial regression plots, we're going to discern the relationship between the response variable and some of the kth variable, okay? Now, uh, we'll compute these residuals by, again, regressing uh, the response variable versus the independent variable. Um, now, some notable points on this plot, okay, is we're going to be fitting uh, some slope beta to the intercept zero, okay? So, so it's going to be a horizontal line here. Uh, and we can also look at the effects of an individual data values. Um, on the estimate of the coefficient quite easily. So uh, let's let's go on and actually uh, take a look here. So uh, fig is equal to sm.graphics.plot uh, uh, part regress here, and we want prestige, we want income, oops, we want income, then we want income and education. Uh, data is equal to our prestige data. And um, let's go on and also do something like a fig dot tight layout uh, here and I'll have a pad of uh, one. Oh, not fit. Fig. There we go. Okay, and again, so we can see here uh, that spacing that we have is um, a looking at, again, um, we don't see really any uh, violation of our underlying assumptions such as homoscrasticity or linearity. Um, and again, this, uh, this distance that it has from this zero point, okay, this is, um, this is going to be some beta slope here. Um, uh, now we can also say that these individual data points, as we had said uh, previously, uh, on the estimation of the coefficient are going to be nice and easy for us to discern. Um, now let's go on and move forward with looking at maybe um, changing this up a little bit. Um, so if we go on, and I'm actually just going to copy this and take it down here. And I'm going to get rid of this income here. Um, and we run this again. Now we can see here that um, this plot has definitely changed. Okay, the slope has definitely changed here. So now we're looking at income of x and prestige of x. Um, and again, we saw that um, at the top as well, but we we're also looking at the interaction. <clears throat> now we can see that the partial um, uh, regression here is going to confirm that the influence of a conductor or a minister, oh, oh, conductor here um, and minister, I can't really find it, but we'll see here we can even see an engineer. Oh, minister's down here, there he is. Okay, um, uh, and again, this uh, engineer on this partial relationship between income and prestige. Okay, so there's definitely an influence there because again, they're further away uh, from um, everyone as well. Now, these cases are going to greatly decrease uh, the effect of income on prestige. Uh, so if we maybe uh, drop these cases, okay, so let's go on and we'll drop... Um, uh, the engineer here, the conductor, and the minister, because again, they're kind of our outliers. Um, so let's go on and do that really quickly. So let's actually set up a subset. Uh, and so we want to remove from prestige uh, is in, and we want conductor, uh, and that was rr dot engineer and we want minister uh, and let's go on and create up a second model here so we'll just say uh, model 2 is equal to OLS 
here and we want prestige income plus education um, data is equal to uh, prestige and then our subset here is called subset and we want to go in and fit this and then let's look at, look at model 2 dot summary all right so we can see first off we had a little bit of a boost okay in our r squared now let's go on and kind of go to the meat of this and actually take a look at um this uh, graphic now what we're going to do with this okay before we just used um, the uh, plot regress now we're going to do the partial uh, the plot partial regress grid Uh, and here, uh, again, we have just our model. Um, and I'll just run just the, the first model there. And we can see um, here we have our, uh, our small components in here. All right, so here we see these three here are going to be uh, what we had had before. Now, if I go through and I change this up to model two, two, here we can see that definitely everything definitely uh, flattens out okay so this is kind of for a quick check um, for what we're going to be looking at now these plots don't label anything okay so there there is going to be a little bit of a problem for us wanting to identify things uh, but again so what we can if you can look at the difference between these so again you here you can see them all okay but then if we go on and change it up you can see the difference in those as well and so um, I, I personally would go on and Probably if I'm going to be using things for in some sort of publication, I would probably do these and I would maybe change up maybe um, uh, some of the, the graphics components here. So maybe making um, the text a little bit smaller so it's easier to read uh, and whatnot. But again, you can see that once we dropped those outliers in here with our subset, our model actually did get a little bit better um, and we'd be able to... Um, again, give a little bit of uh, explanation as to why that is. Uh, so this is going to be covering um, our partial uh, regression plotting. Um, if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.